How's it going guys? This is Incredibly Average Joe bringing you another Madden 20 video. So I'm going to be continuing my weekly review of, of the cards that have all been released since the previous video. Uh, if you all do like this, just let me know and I'll continue doing them. If not, let me know and I'll stop doing them. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. We just went over 130 subscribers, so very excited about that. We're growing. Thank you all so much for your support. I truly appreciate it very, very much. Uh, on that note, if you are new as well and you haven't seen it yet, I am doing a sweepstakes for 2200 Madden points. Be sure to check out that video. It details in the video how to enter the sweepstakes. So if you're having any trouble with that, either let me know on Twitter or in the comments on the video and we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll make sure everyone gets entered in that, that wants to. And uh, best of luck to you all. So that one, uh, the sweepstakes will end next Tuesday. Uh, if you're watching this video after it comes out, next Tuesday is October 29th. So on October 29th at midnight, the polls, or everything will close. You won't be able to enter anymore. And uh, the website I'm using, gleam.io, will randomly select a winner from everyone in there. And I will announce it. As long as the person who wins is okay with me saying their name and or username or whatever in the next video I will announce who has won and yeah we'll go from there just wanted to let you guys know I was given a really solid money making method from uh, his Xbox username is T3CM3AK1 uh, and his Twitter handle is Juan Prez Jr. 7 so I'll, I'll put all his information down below he's a really solid guy he's been following me for a while now since the beginning so I appreciate him for letting me know this method and he he told me I could go ahead and tell you guys about it basically what he's been doing is going into the store and it does take a little bit of timing but uh, if you're able to snipe some 85s you want to look for them around to be 22 to 25k I think they on general um, right now when I was looking at them they're selling for about 28 to 32k somewhere in that range but if you look for the heavyweights at, at around 22 to 25k, you buy three of those, you put them in the set where you trade in three 85s and you get an 87 to an 88, uh, you can make some serious money there, guys. There's several 87s and 88s that sell for much, much more than their the average cost of an 87 or an 88. Just like every coin making method, there is a bit of risk. Of course, you could lose coins. I'm not saying that you're going to make coins every single time. But I think the potential for making coins is there. I haven't been able to do it myself. As you can see, I don't have enough coins right now. Um, but if any of you guys want to try it out, um, I, I know several people have reported that they've made a good bit of coins off of it. So I just wanted you guys to be aware of that opportunity. Give that a shot. If it's working for you guys, let me know. All right, now let's get into the rest of the video. Okay, so shortly after I released my video last week, I think a day or two after, uh, we did a lot of the most feared guys last week, but Le'Veon Bell was not on that video. He hadn't been released yet, so he's got a 93 card that came out. It is a limited. It's very expensive because that 1.1 million is what this one's going for. You might be able to find it a little cheaper at times, but this is kind of generally what it's going for. Looking at his stats, let's compare him to uh, Saquon really quick. So I've got my 92 Saquon. So speed is 87, Excel is less, agility is less, carrying is less, catching is the same, elusiveness is less. Trucking is significantly better, but breaking tackle is, uh, is also less. Um, guys, this card, I don't really know what EA was thinking with this. This doesn't look like a very good card to me. Uh, I, I don't think it does Le'Veon Bell justice. He's a very good player. I just don't think this card is very good, especially not for how much it's going for. I get it's a limited time, and that's why it's more expensive, but I would not recommend buying this card honestly most limited i'm not gonna recommend buying because they're so dang expensive now if you're someone that spends a lot of money on the game then by all means do it it's great but if you're a big jets fan or Le'Veon bell fan then go at it but i just i don't see the value here even if i was a Le'Veon bell fan i'd probably hold off until they gave him a little bit of a better card just because i i just don't think this one's very good okay guys so we had two heavyweights this week uh we got brandon sheriff at right guard let's compare him to the right guard i've got Let's see, I, I did get Brian Winters as my most feared. He was the one I picked out of the uh, trick-or-treat pack. So Brandon Scherf does look a little bit better than Brian Winters here, in my opinion, or I, I don't know about y'all's right guard, but he's got 90 run block, 88 run block power, 91 run block finesse. Uh, I put most of my stock in the offensive line into run blocking because I don't think they're very good at pass blocking. If you're passing and you don't have really really good offensive linemen you better hope that you're just getting the ball out quick because most people have really good pass rushers the pass rushers are very good in this game so i typically pay more attention to the run blocking stats some of y'all may disagree with me on that so that's fine uh but if you do care about pass blocking more he is actually better than the brian winters card that i have in those two categories too now he's going for 168k i don't think that's uh too bad of a, a value 
Um, I would consider picking up this card if you need a good right guard. Um, I think he's pretty solid. Uh, let's move on over to Ezekiel Anza here at right end. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't have a great right end to compare him to. I'm still using Deacon Jones. Uh, he's one of the cards that I definitely need to get rid of and get a better right end. Uh, this Zeke Anza, though, card, he looks pretty solid. He's got really high speed for a right end, which is nice for pass rushing. Good excel. He's a little, not quite as strong as Deacon Jones, of course, but that's not too bad. Tackling's pretty good. His power and finesse move are pretty good. Block shed is not quite as great, but generally speaking, this is a pretty solid card. Now, he is a little expensive. I would probably wait until he drops a little bit more. Um, 200K is a little too rich for my blood, but I don't know. He, he's a pretty good card overall. So if you're in need of a good right end, I think Zigant has a pretty solid choice right here. All right, guys. So we're going to move on into the top three team of the week ones that came out. So we'll start with Marvin Jones, who had just a heck of a game this past weekend. He was ridiculous. I really thought he was going to get the limited. I'm surprised that the person who did get the limited did. They had a good game too, but regardless, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, Marvin Jones, uh, let's look at this card right now. So 91 overall. He's not great on speed. He's not one of the burner guys, but good jumping, not very great catching. Tyler Lockett's got better catch than him. Catching in traffic, solid. That spectacular catch is his really, really good stat there. That's a 94. That's really, really high. Uh, route running is just okay. Deep route running is all right. Um, pretty good card. If I picked him up, he would probably be my third because honestly, I like guys with the top end speed. As you can see, I've got 90 and 91 here on Torrey Holt and Lockett. Um, he he does make those spectacular catches a little bit better, but I would probably have him as my third. For that reason, I would not buy him, uh, but it depends on your play style. If you like throwing it deep, having them go up there and get it, he would make some good catches. 238 is not bad for a 98 receiver. Uh, sorry, a 91 receiver, not a 90. That'd be amazing for a 98 receiver. For a 91 receiver, 238 is not bad. If that's your play style, I would consider looking into this card. He's pretty solid. If you manage to pull him from a pack, that's great. I would sell him probably because I really only utilize two of my wide receivers very much anyway. I wouldn't be able to justify having uh, not selling them for this amount of, of coins. All right, so the next one we're going to look at is Patrick Peterson, who I was really excited about. I will not be able to afford 400,000 coins. I'll tell you right now, I would love to have Pat Peterson on my team. He's one of my favorite players. He's a really good DB, but I will not be able to afford that. So comparing him to Jalen Ramsey here, by the way, I did trade in Ty Law for Shazier, so that's why you're not seeing Ty Law on my lineup anymore. Anyway, uh, Shea, uh, sorry, Patrick Peterson has 89 speed, uh, 89 excel, 92 agility, 92 jump, press coverage. So he's not as good in any of the coverages there as Jalen Ramsey, but he's still very close. His zone coverage is a little bit less, but Generally speaking, this is a pretty solid looking card. Uh, would I spend 400,000 on it? No, I would not. Um, some of you might totally understand if you do, because that it's, he's a very good card. Pat Peterson's a solid player. I really like him. So I personally would not pick him up, but I don't think he's, there's a reason not to other than it. It's, it's a little expensive. So if you want to wait a bit, it, it'll definitely drop some, but it's, it's a heck of a card right now. If you manage to pull him, uh, I'd sell because that's a great value right now for 91. And I think you can get, just as good of a cornerback uh, like Jalen Ramsey or Desmond Trufant for uh, less coins. So personally, I would sell if I pull him, even though I do like Pat Peterson a lot, but solid card nonetheless. Okay, so let's get into the last one for the week. It's Aaron Rodgers. So the thing with Aaron Rodgers, I really like Aaron Rodgers, and this card is really good, and I don't have the other card to compare it to, but it's basically the same as his ultimate kickoff, Aaron Rodgers. If you compare the stats, they're very, very similar, if not the same. So. Aaron Rodgers, what, had five or six touchdowns this past week, and I don't remember exactly. He had a heck of a game, so it makes sense that he got the limited. But it's, yeah, there it is. It says six touchdowns right there. I just can't read. Um, but I, I don't know. It's it's weird that they gave him essentially the same card. Um, now, if you're a, a, a Packers fan, you like Rodgers or whatever, then that's fine if you want to grab him. I mean, I, nothing wrong with that. It's just it's just kind of weird that they gave him this, this card right now when – I think he'd be better for like a 95 upgrade in the future. Uh, I'm sure he'll get one still. But anyway, as a player, um, he doesn't really fit my play style personally. Y'all, I like to run around a little bit more. I was very hesitant to even use Cam with that 82 speed there. Um, but he's got, I mean, he, he's, he's got to be a dead eye in the pocket, right? He's got 92 throw power, 93 short, uh, short accuracy, 85 mid accuracy, 89 deep accuracy is really solid. Throw under pressure is 85 pretty good. And then throwing on the runs 91. So this is a pretty good card if you are a um, pocket passer. Kind of like Matt Ryan was last week, but uh, I think he's a little bit better than Matt Ryan. But m my only issue with it is why would you get this card when you can get the ultimate kickoff? For what I assume is cheaper. I haven't looked at it, to be fair. 
Um, but it, I don't know. It's just kind of weird that they came out with the, the same card. Okay, guys, I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, I will continue doing this weekly review of all the cards that have come out. Maybe I'll get, like I said, if, if, you, if you're enjoying it, it's getting good views and all that, then I will maybe do a little more in depth and all that. But, but you guys let me know what you want me to do. Um, like I said, I will not be reviewing the uh, most feared that are coming out on Friday. Those will be in next week's video. I will be traveling this week. I might, I might be not as available as much on Twitter. Uh, just FYI, I'll, I'll try and look at some of the stuff, retweet it so that you guys can see it and all that. Uh, it should be a good second part of the promo. I'm excited about it. If you have a bunch of bats, don't get rid of them yet. Hold on to them. Let's see what happens in the second part of the promo. That would be my recommendation. Same with coins. I wouldn't go out and buy a bunch of stuff like I just did. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoys the second part of the promo. I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, stay average.